but I didn't actually pull everything out until literally two minutes ago. And so, I mean, I'll try to show you. I think I have enough to go through. Um, you guys will have to forgive me. I have been awake since 2.30 this morning. It is currently 11 p.m. I did get an hour nap in today, though. Um, it's been a long day. I, uh, today's Tuesday. I normally don't work on Tuesdays, but I did a six-day work week this week. Um, and I just, like, switched two of my days off because someone needed a day, and so I said I'd come in and just take another day off. Anyway, point being, I'm tired. Um, but I just came from a dinner, actually, that I was invited to. I literally just got home, like... 15 minutes ago and I was like, you know what, before I put my pajamas on, let's just, let's just film a video, because why not? I did have like two glasses of wine at this dinner, so I feel like that's what's giving me the energy right now to be able to film this video. Um, and then probably by the time I'm done filming, the wine will like set in and I'll just like crash and I'm off tomorrow, so I'm just gonna sleep. But I thought that I would go through all these palettes. There will be a lot of tapping sounds, maybe some tracing, um, explaining in detail. And you know, my channel has a lot of whisper rambling, so it's gonna be pretty much just all whispering close up to the mic. But before we begin, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, the coldest water bottle. I love the sound. I was listening to it the last time I was editing, and I love it. So, long story short, the coldest water bottle keeps your water cold up to 36 hours. You guys know the drill. This is not my first time saying this, and I'm sorry. But that's the deal. If you want to get your own bottle, link, code, all that good stuff is in the description. So, Without further ado, let's just get started. Actually, side note, um, I'm going to talk about the dinner that I went to last night over on my Patreon in my life, my monthly life update, uh, Whisper Ramble. So if you are a Patreon of mine, look forward to that within the next like week, week and a half. It's nothing bad, it's just kind of like a, like a funny story. So, uh, yeah, if you're a Patreon, keep an eye out for that. But anyway, the first two palettes, I figured I would just start with the ones that I use the most. So let me start with this one. They are both by Sigma. This is a contour palette. You can see it says sculpt there. Sorry for the reflection of my ring light there. Oh, hello. Yeah, it says hi. 
that I 
sharing it with me because I guess I would take it all the time. So for Christmas one year, I was probably maybe like a senior in high school, maybe a freshman in college, I don't even know. But um, for Christmas, she bought me this palette basically as a nice way of saying stop using my makeup kind of deal. And it is a L'Oreal eyeshadow palette. What's it called? Nude Intense palette. As you can tell, I wear a lot of a lot of nudes, neutral colors. So it comes with ten shades. They don't have names. Uh, they're literally just numbered one through ten. And this is what they look like. This one right here. I think I dropped this palette once and that eyeshadow just like crumbled and fell to the floor. That is uh, eyeshadow number five. Um, and I liked that this palette on the back has like a guide on like how to do different looks and it tells you what numbers to use where. And so when I was younger, just, you know, starting out on, you know, wearing makeup and eyeshadow and all that. I, like, needed that guidance, and that was before I feel like a lot of makeup tutorials were a thing on YouTube. So I remember that helped me out a lot, but it really, it doesn't look like I've used too much. And I've had this for a long time. I honestly, before, like, filming this video, I forgot I even had this, so maybe I should start using it again. Okay, the next palette is not an eyeshadow palette, but it's another one of my favorites. It is another Sigma palette, and it is the Chroma Glow Shimmer and Highlight palette. It's a highlighting palette, basically. I've had this in a couple of makeup like get ready with get ready with me's and all that. Um, so it has six different highlighters. Oh, a little messy. We've had some fallout. So um, again, I I don't really use all of them. This is like your standard uh, pearly kind of highlighter with not a lot of color in it. That is called peaceful. Then there is one with like a uh, tint to it. It's called Ambrosia. I've used that one a couple times. The blue one is like super cool. It's called Zeal. I think I've only used it like once. It's fun. Like if you're going out or like Halloween, maybe. The next one is a very light orange. It's called Bedazzle. And then this dark copper color is called Lush. A little too dark for me. And then the purple one, which is super pretty, is called Felicity. Um, so these two are the ones I've used the most. Again, you guys know I don't stray very far from the neutral. Um, very, I think I play it very safe when it comes to makeup, simply because I don't know how to do anything else. Um, so those are the two that I use the most. But you guys know, I've said it before, I swear by my little $4 e.l.f. highlighter that I have. And, you know, that highlighter is easier for me to travel with, so I don't carry this really around with me. Like, that blush palette I carry around with me. My makeup uh, box has a nice little sleeve in it, and I just pop it right in there. But this, I, I don't know, I don't feel it's, like, worth traveling with, so I don't use it too much, but they are really pretty and they last for a pretty decent amount of time. So, the next one is a little baby palette that I have that is, I've had it for a couple years now. I think there was a time where I did use this a lot, um, but I have since not really used it. It's by the brand Ish. I remember, I didn't buy this, I remember later, the Ish brand uh, sent me a few things a couple of years ago, and this was one of the things. So, it has a black one called Sevilla. 
beer a dark brown called Sirius a lighter brown tan color called Spiritual this is like a super metallic -y, almost like a mustardy color it's called Shady this is like pure gold right here it's called Shiny and then a slightly metallic purple dark purple called Stunning um, so this one I love I have used it multiple times this I have used as like an eyeliner um, this would be like in my outer corner kind of area to add some depth and then this is like a good crease color for me uh, I don't wear too much gold makeup but I would use that and then the purple I've just never used so you can actually make a really nice smoky palette it's literally called the uh, smoky shadow palette so you can make a really nice uh, smoky eye with this palette and I love the size perfect for traveling which you guys know I do a decent amount of that so um, again I'm like I'm going all through all of these and I'm like remembering what I have and now I'm excited to start using these palettes again this next one is super cool it's super metallic as you can see it is the Sigma Enchanted palette I actually did a video like surrounding this palette a while ago many of you remember it um, it has a lot of as you can probably guess metallic shades a lot of shiny shades yeah oh there you go um so let's see if I could go through them without dropping the brush um yeah that's not gonna work I'm gonna have to read it I was gonna try to read it from the back it's not gonna work so we have Quartz, sunburst, budding, innocent, metamorphosis, loam, terra, which is a beautiful, like, rusty kind of uh, matte color. Uh, electrum, um, this yellow one here. Moonglade, plume, cosmos, claystone, evergreen, and wicked. Those are the names. Sigma palettes, from what I've seen, come with a brush with a smaller crease kind of brush on one side and a very fluffy brush that's good for blending and spreading and whatever on the other side. Again, this is a super, um, like, <laughs> adventurous palette, so I don't use it too much. Perfect for, like, a night out. Not that any of us are doing that right now. Sweet, 
other one is like matte and the other one is like a shimmery metallic color and they all kind of like pair together like a matte and a shimmery one and they like go really well together they're all like paired which is good for people like me who aren't the best at applying makeup so uh, yeah I'm getting ready to bust this one back out I don't think I've really used it since last
use mocha in my crease and then in my outer corners the dark brown molted up here and then I will dip my ring finger in this silver metallic color right there and I put it on like the inner kind of corner there that's usually my go-to look this is the palette I use for it and even just like going to work um, I'll pretty much do the same thing minus the silver shimmer and the dark brown but like the uh, overall eyelid color and the crease color like I did that today but again my makeup's been on for a very long time so you probably can't tell this one I have also made a dedicated video on it is by Sigma again and this is the Core de Rosa palette it's really pretty actually very nice for, I would say, like springtime, which I'm pretty sure is, is when I got it. So these are the colors, a lot of pinks, a lot of oranges and yellows and like bright shimmery colors. Again, it does come with a brush. So we have, let me use the brush as a pointer. you and
it is now.